Hi guys, welcome to Technical Tuesday. My name's Andy Dudley and behind me is the Bandit Industries SG75 Stump Grinder. Bandit Industries are based in Remus in Michigan and have been making forestry equipment for 40 years. They make a range from stump grinders, hand-fed chippers, whole tree chippers and the Beast Horizontal Grinder. Here today we have the SG75. I'm going to give you a walk around the machine and show you some of the features and benefits. Starting at the back of the machine, this is our main control cabinet. So on the top here we've got an emergency stop, the ignition switch, the actual control system for the grinder, but inside here is where all the hydraulic valves are kept. So if we open up the top panel, in here we've got our radio remote, and inside we actually have a 12 volt charging port as well, so you can recharge this. And then opening up these two panels, we've got access to all the hydraulic control valves, and also we've got a storage for the tether remote control as well. So this is the Bandit control system that controls everything on the grinder. You can see here we've got engine RPM, engine temperature, oil pressure, battery voltage. And in this screen we can also set up some of the parameters of the grinder. So if we press the mode button we can go here from manual control into radio into tether. And if we go into setup, here we can increase bump time. So bump time is the amount of time that the head drops when you press the down button and you can increase that to whatever setting you want. So it's currently set at 0.2 of a second. We've got creep bump time as well. So when you're grinding your stump and as you're moving towards the stump, if you press the creep switch once, it will creep forward for half a second. So if you're in a softer stump, you could say, you know, creep forward for 0.75 of a second, or if it's a harder stump, you could have it to 0.25 of a second. Everything on the machine is controlled from the radio remote. Once you start the machine up on the ignition switch, everything else is done from here. So press and hold the switch here to engage the cutter head. We've got two joysticks for the track drive system and a couple of dead man buttons at the top. So press and hold a dead man button, push the joysticks forward and the machine will track. And it's a fully proportional system as well. So the further you push the joystick forward, the faster the track goes. When you let go of the dead man switch, these joysticks then become controls for the cutter head. So we have cutter head up and down on here and left and right on this joystick. Also, as you can see, we can lift and lower the grading blade. We can increase and decrease the swing speed, increase and decrease the bump time, put the tracks in and out, throttle up and down, and then we have our drive speeds for the track. So we have a medium, high speed, and then we also have a creep switch as well. Moving towards the front of the machine, we've got our fuel tank here, hydraulic oil tank and hydraulic oil cooler. Here we have a storage area for the extensions for the optional grading blade. So these pin into position and bring the grading blade out to the edge of the tracks. The track system on this is an expanding track system. So in its narrowest setting, it's 35 inches for narrow access. And then for actual use of the machine, they hydraulically expand to 55 inches. Powering the SG75 is a Kohler 74 horsepower stage five diesel engine. This is a proven engine and we don't just use it in the SG75, but we also use it in the hand-fed chippers as well. Power from the engine is transmitted through a dry clutch, down through a gearbox drive shaft to a 90 degree gearbox here, which is powering the cutter wheel. At the business end of the grinder, we've got the 27 inch diameter cutter wheel. It's inch and a quarter wide and it features sprinkle carbide wear strips. We've got 44 teeth on this cutter wheel. There is an option of having a green tooth wheel, but the wheels that we take here in the UK have always been the new revolution wheel. What sets this apart from most other machines on the market is the width of swing. So we've got an 80 inch width of swing on here, which is just over two meters. That's why we have such large chip containment guards, and these are foldable for transport purposes as well. Not only have we got a wide swing, we've also got a really deep depth as well. So this machine will grind down to nearly two foot in depth.
Well, that's the end of today's Technical Tuesday. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, then please leave them in the comments section below. And please feel free to like, share and subscribe to our other social media channels. And I'll see you next time for the next Technical Tuesday.